Now, these are the kind of fish they're catching up at uh, that fish my brother and his buddies were fishing. Uh, <laughs> they got five guys, six fish all the time they were up there. I mean, that is poor. Look at the size of these walleye, these pickerel we call them up here. Actually, I was I looked it up, and l last year they had a derby there, and 17 fish... 17 walleye uh, were entered that were over 10 pounds. But these guys, they don't catch them, eh? They got nice smallies there, too, huh? Hi, guys. I'm back. Yeah, this video is about uh, me looking after my brother's place for, uh, for the week while he was fishing. <laughs> Five guys, they only caught six pickerel. What a bunch of lousy fishermen! All that driving, all that money. They they drive all they drive all over the place, flying joints and stuff like that. But they never do good fishing. They ought to. <laughs> the only time they ever do good fishing, honest to God, is when they're fishing with me. <laughs> they ought to, you know. I tell them when to go, where to go, but these guys all got lives and. They can't all be together at the same time when I tell them it's a good time to be fishing. So, you know, what are you going to do, right? They do the best you can, right, in a situation like that. They have fun, though. They drink, shoot the shit. They have a good time anyhow. Anyhow, uh, so I'm, I'm going to show you the kid's backyard and, you know, the little bit of the, well, the dog and his pot plants. But uh, after that, it... it it was all nature stuff from when I was coming over, you know, like my trip over and stuff like that. Anyhow, here you go, guys. All right, I'm over at my brother's. And this is the little mud I'm looking after. Hey, Bear, say hi. <laughs> Let's tour his backyard. Whoa. His plants. There's his Weber. This trellis gets full of clematos. Oh yeah, wait a minute, look at this. I got instructions. Dog. Plants. Coffee. Freezer. Please put blue bin out Monday night. They already did the first dog one. Uh, plants. He goes pretty good on the plants. Hope I don't kill any. <laughs> uh, that's a tomato plant. Yeah, water them guys. Then the clematis. That just trellis gets full of them in a while. Real pretty them things. A little hunter there. All right, now the goodies. Oh, there's the old scooter getting charged up. A pot plant. So oh, look at that. He's got chicken wire or that netting to get flies away from it, eh? <laughs> his tomato plants he didn't have any last year so I'll be getting tomatoes this year another pot plant those are doing better than mine but they always do and he's got a couple back here in dirt this one here will get real big that one there oh look at that guy bushy as hell. That one's going to be probably really heavy with product. Walking up the tree, they're trying to hide. They don't like people, them night herons. 
Walked right up into the rocks. Jumped up. Wants to fish this spot though, but too many people around right now. I take it those are long distance swimmers practice on their stroke. Those guys got the orange thing trailing them. I seen four of the five of them down here earlier training. A little early for the beach just yet. There'll be a pile of them out there. Oh, look at that. Somebody's out in the lake fishing. There's one of them swimmers with the orange uh, bag behind him. He's about a mile, well, three quarters of a mile from the beach right now. <laughs> this has to be one of them long distance swimmers I was talking about. Uh oh, the guy's coming into Sherry, he must be tired. Wait a minute, that's kind of like a direct beeline to the beach, I guess. The American crawl, that's what you call that stroke he's using. I used to be on a swing. Cat team. wants in the house. Poor putty cat. Stones. Well, just from across this down at Colonel Samuel Smith Park. Endangered snapping turtle nest site. Friends of Sam Smith Park. Yeah, they, they, they nest up on in Marie Curtis Park, too. I seen one that was huge, as big as that entire box one time, sunning itself on a rock at the falls. It was huge, a huge claws it had too, the snapping turtle, but I'm talking about the huge one. Nice, eh? Nice job there, friends, of Sam Smith Park. This is the little pond they come out of, the snapping turtles, and other turtles, eastern, uh, what do you call them? Eastern painter turtles. There's logs down there. You can see eight, nine, ten of them right down that area right there sometimes. There's the the site right there where their turtle come up and laid the eggs. Would you look at that? Another snapping turtle nest. They found another one. This is only maybe 40 yards from the other one. The pond is just uh, behind me here. Where are you? There you are there. Well, that's nice, eh? That's all, folks.